Um, I already have a warp path set up. I think they've added some stuff here. So let's see. Entering Canterwood. Tread lightly. Where are my big? Where are my big stick? My big stick. My big stick is your mother. Lame and overused joke is behind this sign. The sign behind this one has no sense of humor. Tickle it. This sign behind this one doesn't know original humor. Oh wow. <laughs> Apparently there's some infighting here. So here we have Canterwoods, which looks a lot better than Everfree, at least in, in terms of tameability. Everfree, Everfree though looks really freaking good. What the heck is over? Oh, we've already been over there. Okay. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have my view distance set so high that everything comes off of shadows in the distance. Um, See, so yeah, if you remember, Camelot was pretty far away. Um. But they added these woods recently, I guess, or not recently, since I picked up the update. And here we have, from Canelot to Ponyville, and same over there. And we also have, let's see, we have the Canelot Observatory, which I'm sure you remember this area from the last video. Uh, so we're not going to go through it. And right up here we have Canelot. We have the entrance hall right here, the tower and entrance, the towers on the entrance hall, the walkways, the throne room and mini towers. Yes, yeah, so we have all that. The great hall for dying, dying when not hosting the gala, the garden. So yeah, we have that's all Cantalot. Yay, so we're done. Okay, so you all know we don't. That's not Cantalot. That's <clears throat> it's just a model. <laughs> yeah, my British is bad. My British accent, my accents are bad in general. So right here we have a more completed Cantalot, and I dare say it's nearly completed. Um, when we came, when we were looking here before, this this one building was somewhat completed, and maybe, maybe a tower, I think. I'm not even sure if any of the towers were completed. My starting to get an error here, so hopefully everything will be fine. Um, Got like a my RAM air, a RAM air. Hopefully it's hopefully it's just being over, my computer is being over overly paranoid and like it normally is. Um, I'm gonna probably drink a cider of night vision here. We got the main throne throne room, which we did look at this before. Um, and remember, like everything over on the sides are blocked off. I think except for the entrance and this. Room. Actually, I think this even that area was blocked off, and this led into the waterfalls, huh? Let me just turn the flight on and start flying through here pretty quickly. So we had the—I don't think we had this area open, so that area is now open. Uh, we have Star for the Beards Memorial Library Tower, uh, which when we looked in here, it wasn't even—it wasn't even this complete. I don't even think it had stairs. I'm not even sure if it was. I'm not even sure if it was named. Um, Sky Swirl Lounge. Oh, that's a, oh wow, this is actually pretty cool. Yeah, back here. My lights are flickering, which means my power might go out any minute. <laughs> like it might just. I choose the I choose the worst time to start recording these things, don't I? I record late at night, and then right now I'm recording while it's in the middle of a thunderstorm. And the thunderstorm's not too bad, I don't think, but still. Um, so yeah, we have uh, Star Wars built uh, memorial library, um, which actually I think they changed a lot of it over here too. Like, wow. Yeah, because this used to be connected to it. it used to, there used to be another tower over here. I think this is what was Star, what we thought was Star Wars. Uh, library. Um, to those that will build the towers, please leave the area above the glass clear of, of obstructions. That means the ones outside the circles. The ones outside the circles. Oh, they mean like these. So I didn't know there's natural light coming in. Okay, that makes sense. I, I can see why they did why they do that. 
Uh, right here we have down here. Check what's over here. And we have... Uh, nope. Occupy Canalot by Billy Ram. Billy Ram. Oh, like Occupy Wall Street. I get it. Keeping it peaceful. Oh, that's good. So, yeah. So, like, the gardens, the ponies library. I'm only here for the riots. Why are we still using the monarchy? Occupy Canalot. We are the 99%. Expect the ponies, not the alicorns. Use this help clean up Occupy Canalot. Don't you come in here, you royalist. Applejack has all the bits. All the bits. Why? Pie six, eight, six corn cakes. Fight corporate greed. <laughs> and I, I'm sure she paid for all those, like she did with the cider. Come think of it, I don't think we ever see her pay a single penny for those ciders on screen. Just hogs them all. No, she does give one to Rainbow Dash at the end. So I'm so angry I made a sign. I want to do that. I want to join a protest and have a sign like that one day. Just, just hey, when do we get paid? I think what, if I remember correctly, that's what made a. Uh, what was it? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big politic guy. I'm not. I'm not even gonna get into that. Just gonna mention it and be done with that. Um, so that was Star Wars. That was Occupy Canterlot. <laughs> um, I guess they were occupying the gardens. Oh, they're occupying an area. <laughs> it looked like it was specifically built for that. It'd be awesome if it was, actually. <laughs> like, it's like they, they managed to make that into the show. Like, there's an area that they make just solely for riots. <laughs> oh, that, that'd be hilarious. Uh, so, right over here, we have... Oh, we're, we also had, had this area that we had... Uh, looked, it was mostly finished. When we got over here, this is the uh, har the uh, hall, hall of Harmony or something like that. Stand here with an audience. No magic carpets, please. So this is, uh, I think, the official throne rooms. Except school also has herbs. Okay. Yeah, this is like the official throne room of Cantalot, where uh, Princess Celestia and Luna sit. And here you have the uh, elements of harmony. We've already looked at those before, so we're not going to look at those again. Um... Right here we have a random building that's not finished. It looks kind of like it's supposed to be an arena. But I'm not sure if it's big enough to be an arena. Um, let's see. We have the hallways here, which we'll look at next. So we didn't look, get to look at the hallways. Um, next, hold on. How in the world do we get up here? Oh. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, maybe there's supposed to be something added back here, like a way to get behind here through the, through the throne room. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. Um... So yeah, let's kind of just look through here real quick. Uh, through the hallway. Uh, how are we supposed to... How are we supposed to enter? Oh. Okay, that's... Um... How are we supposed to enter the hallway? Seriously. <laughs> just... There we go. Okay, so it looks like the hallway's unfinished. Um... Ah. Insert horn here. Next time, close it after you go in, your princess. What do you mean, your highness? Oh, this is where the elements of harmony are. Okay, yeah, cause <laughs> yeah, the the season two opener, she put her horn in the center key and it opened up, and that's supposed to be where the elements were stored. But uh, Discord, the villain of that episode, voiced by John Delancey, everyone, you know, Q from Star Trek, essentially playing Q from Star Trek. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Um, it makes it all the more hilarious. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he stole the heart elements of Harmony and just basically, you know, did what Q does best. Caused as much disharmony as possible with everyone. <laughs> and pissed off Picard. I'm sure he pissed off Patrick Stewart somewhere. 
Um, Grand Gap and Gala Hall by Yori Bori, with lots of help by others. So this is the Hall of the Grand Gap and Gala. This is where the Season 1 uh, finale took place. This is where we saw Octavia for the first time playing her uh, cello. Um, I, think that's what, I think it's supposed to be the cello. That's uh, where Rainbow Dash saved the, saved the Wonder Bolts from the statue. I think, did she? Was that? Yeah. Thanks, she missed for the statue, and thanks a lot to Prince Blue Blood who ruined it. Uh. <laughs> Blame that accursed Rainbow One. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what happened there. I know the I know that it fell somehow, and then Rainbow Dash came and, say, and uh, picked it up. Um, didn't do too well. I think she did to impress the uh, the Wonder Bolts, and it didn't do too well for her. Like they ignored her primarily, and this looks like. This looks like, this might be there. is this the area where, no, this couldn't be the area where Applejack, no, no, it's not. Um, party Cannon. Yes, Party Cannon, I knew it! <laughs> so this looks like just the places where they, where they ate. Um, whoa. Holy crap, that was weird. My framer just dropped dramatically for a second there when I was, change, when I was changing songs. Um, this is like another band area. This looks like it might have been another, another episode, I think. This might be the area where... Uh, yeah, I think, okay, so this area wasn't shown in the season one finale. This is shown in um, season two. Uh, Rarity was joining, was a uh, walking around in can was a uh, traveling to Canterlot for some business with uh, Princess Celestia. I don't think they ever went into detail what it was. And uh, she was getting something right. She was making a, a dress for uh, Twilight's uh, birthday. And at the same time, she's also getting to know all the other rich ponies in Canterlot and you know get to know. Uh, I think Fancy Pants was the big was the big name that she got to know. She like started. Neglecting making the dress and everything, you know, that that sort of thing. And she started feeling guilty. And the others came to visit her. And um, they had a party in the gala. And in the, in the gardens is where another event was going on where she was supposed to meet with the, with the, those people. So she basically did what, what I like to call, and I got this totally from Boy Meets World, what I like to call the Flintstones effect. We try to be in, in the same place at the same time. <laughs> right here we have a giant airship that looks like... Actually, it looks like some a rainbow version, colored ver looks like a uh, a ponified for ponified version of a ship from from a uh, Final Fantasy. <laughs> uh, so this is Captain's quarters. Captain's vlog. Um, sorry, I couldn't help myself there. Uh, doesn't look like this is credited. Looks like it's just a small little area in there. Um, actually, don't go and check inside there. Get a better view. And there. <laughs> okay, so that was all. Um, might check inside the bloom itself, see. Also, this must be uh, Celestia and Luna's royal royal ship. Because you know, you know, they're they're alicorns, they're winged ponies. So why wouldn't they? So why would they need a? It's not like they can fly wherever they want. <laughs> Whenever they want, they need a ship. <laughs> That kind of brings brings a question: Why uh, Celestia needed a royal guard and to carry around on a chariot in a couple episodes? There are a couple episodes that are like that. Um, yeah, so that looks like that was all of Canterlot. Um, yeah, we're not gonna. Oh. Oh. This thing does not like me, does it? There. Wait for it to all load. Um, let's see if we can find the viewing platform that we found last episode. Not last episode, last time we visited Camelot. Um, do you remember there was that? Yep, oh, there we go, right up there. There's an actual viewing platform for people to see Canterlot with. And I think we'll go ahead and end this. Screenshot block. Do not remove this. So yeah. Let's see what it looks like when it's 
fully loaded. <laughs> it's gonna take it a while because you know my Minecraft kind of sucks. Minecraft hates me. <laughs> Though actually, considering it hasn't gone out yet, I'm actually quite surprised. <laughs> and it would so suck if it just suddenly went out as soon as I said that. <laughs> you see me start start the next episode. Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, so right here we have a camera as it's just kind of showing up. Oh man, so I guess the view's supposed to be something like that. It looks like, again, like I said, it looks like there's more to be added, because a lot of the, like, the hallway doesn't look like it's finished. Uh, that one building over there doesn't look like it's finished. Um, and it just looks like there's just other stuff to add. I'm sorry, I see a building area that we didn't check out, so let's, uh... Oh, sleep a uh, bed. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> there it goes. Take that out. So yeah. Um. So yeah, there was only seems to be one thing left. Uh. I just realized there's another area of ponies I keep forgetting. I think there's a. Go back down this way. Can't believe I keep forgetting this. Um, am I going the right way? I think I am. Just... We'll go for like. Okay, I think we need to head towards Canterlot. Um, we need to head towards Canterlot before to get to this area. It's like right, right across from Whitetail Woods. Um, which actually, speaking of which, there we go, okay, so we have Ponyville Park, okay, so we have the last area of Ponyville Park to visit, um, which I don't think we've checked out this windmill yet, like the, the water mill there, the wind, yeah, keeps the windmill moving, windmill made by dog, by, uh, Doggy H20, or H20. Um, probably it's a very simple house here. Looks like it. Um. Looks like there's not. Uh, my. If I don't. Uh, yeah, there wasn't any reason to go up here. Jeez. Okay, so yeah, that was, uh. Doggy H20's, uh, windmill. Um, and we already checked out all the other buildings, so let's go into Ponyville Park already, shall we? Um, I think we'll just kind of walk in, just kind of enjoy the enjoy the view, kind of like what we were trying to do with the other place. The on turned off for winter. I think we saw another place like that. Okay, so what's over here? Roads to canter a lot, okay. Yeah, let's just go back here, just kind of enjoy the park a bit. It's kind of a small park. Do not pee in fish pond. Ah. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> that was gonna, that was gonna be, um, quite, quite embarrassing. That was gonna be quite embarrassing. <laughs> you just prevented a national catastrophe, my friend. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's see. So this is put the end of Ponyville Park, so yeah. So I guess that was all Ponyville Park, and I think... Uh, we have one more area that I didn't get on the map to go visit. So, uh, I think we need to go, like, from... Actually, I think I'm going to want to end the video off here for now. Start back up. Uh, so, yeah. In the next uh, in the next part, we will be checking out the last area. I don't know what this area is. It's all on the on their map. Uh, this map thing they have on Minecraft, on the Minecraft website. I think I talked about it before. It's kind of like, um... Uh, crap. Kind of like Google Maps, but for, um, but for Minecraft. There we go. And so I saw this area. It's kind of off the outskirts of Ponyville, like right from where uh, the Apple, uh, Sweet Apple Acre, Acres is. So yeah. So we'll check that out in the next episode. And I'll see you guys. Uh, later. <laughs>